So let's go into our renal failures, what the heck renal failure is, and how we can make it stupid simple for you, the nursing students. Um, we're going to go into first what the kidneys do and where the renals, what their function is in the whole body. So let's do it here. So anytime that you hear the word renals, anytime, Chris, how's it going, sir? <laughs> anytime you hear the word renals, anytime you hear the word kidneys, um, you have to understand a little bit of the pathophysiology behind the kidneys and the renals before you understand how they break down. So, let's do it. Woo! Okay. So your kidneys look like two beans, right? Two kidney beans here. Okay. You have a renal, sorry, you have this aorta that goes straight through. And you have these renal arteries and veins that connect and go into your renals here, okay? So I want you guys to think of your renals as a uh, washing machine. It's not kidneys anymore. It's not um, about renal failure, glomerular filtration rates, uh, nephrotic syndrome. It's not... Ah, don't don't think of it like that. Think of it like um, a washing machine, okay? So that's how we're gonna think of it. Washing machine style. Okay? So those are our washing machines of the body. What your renals do, or what your uh, what your kidneys do, is they filter your blood. And they're supposed to wash your blood to make sure your blood is clean. After it washes your blood, your kidneys send that, send that um, dirty blood in the form of urine down the ureters, into the bladder, and into the potty. And as my nursing instructor used to say, into the potty and not the body, okay? So that's what the function of the, um, of the kidneys do. Now, there are three things that the kidneys filter. And we like to break it down, or at least I like to break it down, into a little acronym called HUC. H-U-C. Okay? So again, guys, I want you to think of these as a washing machine here. All we're doing is cleaning your blood. So, hook, H-U-C. H-U-C. So, hook stands for hydrogen ions urea and creatinine okay hydrogen ions hydrogen ions are very acidic hydrogen ions are that byproduct of h2o two hydrogens and one oxygen right so your body needs to get this hydrogen out of your blood into the potty because if our washing machines break down that hydrogen is not getting out, there's going to be a buildup of acid causing our body to go into metabolic acidosis because we're not, we're holding on to those hydrogen ions, okay? The next thing is, um, is our U, our urea. Now, if you guys saw my liver lecture, we know that your body breaks down protein in your duodenum, right? That first portion of the small intestine. Now, your body breaks down that protein. I just like to call it a protein wrapper because a uh, protein bar comes in a wrapper, right? So you take this wrapper off. You eat the protein, right? Or your power bar. And you have this wrapper, you see? This wrapper is called ammonia. Now the ammonia goes up to the liver 
and your liver breaks down that ammonia in the form of urea. So this urea, now this ammonia is breaking down into the form of urea, send back out through the, um, the exit portal of the liver and down into your renals to be filtered out. So that liver is just detoxing and getting rid of the urea. Now it's up to your washing machines to get it out of the body. So when your kidneys break down, you also have a buildup of uric acid, or what's called urea. And we see this in the form of BUN, blood urea nitrogen. Okay. So that's our bun. Now, when your bun goes up, this doesn't mean that you're in renal failure or that your kidneys are failing. Um, when your bun goes up, just think that your patient might be dehydrated. So your patient um, might be sitting in the sun too long, very hemoconcentrated, not a lot of fluid. So your bun is going to be very concentrated, a lot, very, very high. So, that's what happens. So when you think that if your bun's high, but your creatinine is normal, think that your patient has burned buns. They're just dehydrated, very burned buns, okay? Now your last part, your C. Your C is also, your C is your creatinine. So your creat. And hook, okay? So this creat is a byproduct of protein breakdown. So it doesn't mean that your body's, um, you know, in rhabdomyolysis with just a rapid breakdown of muscle. It just means that your body is breaking down muscle constantly and peeing out this creat in your, um, in your pee, at least. So if your washing machines are broken, your creat is not going to show up um, uh, too much in the urine. It's going to be in the body now, because this is broken. And as my nursing instructor said, in the body and not in the potty. So when these two go up, your BUN and your creat, remember you have two kidneys, and this means that you're in um, kidney failure or it could be in kidney failure. Now there's a stage and progression of where we go in terms of acute renal failure. So let's go into the stages of acute renal failure because you know someone is not really just pushed into acute renal failure. Um, they could be, but let me show you the progression of what happens with acute renal failure. So let me cut it here. And we'll cover that in our little next video here. Boom, boom, boom.